hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it first i want to say happy thursday i hope everybody is having a wonderful day please stay safe and all that good stuff please stay aware of your surroundings and please y'all watch the company that you keep because it just may save your life or keep you out of trouble okay y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it it is day four of the young Dolph's trial and it's a wrap y'all it is a wrap um they basically is on you know verdict watch right now they're on verdict rocks now let's go over a few things that happened today i want to just go over a few things um they you know they talked about you know, we already know the state versus Justin Johnson. Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> Ain't that ironic that Puffy likes Johnson and Johnson's baby oil and Justin Johnson's is going in there with Puffy? I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. Okay? So, they talked about everything that he was going to be charged with, uh, first degree, and all of that stuff. Um, they, they broke down everything when it first started, um, why they should choose you know, first degree and all of that stuff. Um, so they just went over the basics with, you know, the jury. They talked about, you know, Cornelius Smith, um, the information that he gave out, the $100,000 hit that was put on Dolph, um, the plan, you know, they said on his paper that is, you know, right here, they put on there that it was processed for weeks, but it, you know, on all actual reality, this had been planned for months and they don't want to release this to the news i'm just saying that they have been planning for months since back in june and april okay y'all so um you know it's a lot, like i told y'all it's a lot of a little cover up going on too because they, it, to me they want to be a little lenient on yo Gotti, but at the same time um stevie wanted to concede that they're involved and they did bring up cmg too oh yeah they brought cmg up y'all and they also brought up the fact that CMG had, you know, tried to take him out in other cities and states as well. This was their first time trying to take Dolph out. So they brought that up. So that lets y'all know um, CMG is fried, y'all. They is fried. So this is one of the charges. And they, they brought up the fact uh, and broke everything down on what premeditation means and all of that stuff. And did it apply to what, you know, Straight Drop had did. So, yeah, that, that came with it, y'all. They came with it. Irish Williams, um, she came in with her little closing statements and she she laid it all down on the line and she came with it, y'all. Um, this right here is the facts and the analysis uh, analysis. And this is, you know, they're talking about um his sister came up and she testified, you know, and talked about, you know, who Dolph was. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Um, the doctor talked about the autopsy report. Um, the police officer that was testifying, well, the detective or whoever he was, um, that was an investigator in the case, he said that they got it right here in black and white. Um, there was a conflict between CMG and Pre, And not only, you know, this is what they admitted, Cornelia Smith, that not only was they off out for Dolph, they was off for any Pre members, okay, that wasn't involved, okay, y'all? Because somebody was giving away Dolph's locations. I don't care what nobody say. Okay. Um, um, they talked about how they identified the, the car. You know. The car on the crime scene. And all of that stuff. In the opening statement. From her. Um, this right here was Cornelia Smith testimony. Talking about you know. The process. The, you know the steps that they took before and after. And how that they came to the conclusions. That you know. Straight drop. Was he? They had their person that they needed to have, okay? And this lets you know that there is going to be others. This is a straight up Rico. They are that's a brewing, and they're gonna, you know, charge each person, each one, y'all. 
differently, you know, because they're not gonna charge them all together. Okay, they 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 doing each case differently, so they, they broke that down and let us know. Um, it talked about um, the cars, the gas station, the film, the phones, all of that stuff, y'all. They talked about everybody that made played their part, the cousins, the girlfriends, um, everything. They laid everything down on the line. They talked about how Justin Johnson called Big Jook right after, right after it happened. He called Big Jook, yo. Okay. Um, so much stuff that they laid on the line. They even put the text messages in here and everything, y'all. Okay? Just all the steps that they took to take Dolph out. Um, another charge, convicted of, you know, possession. And they broke down each, you know, one, two, three of, you know, go through these steps and do it look like he was. You know, should be charged on this charge too. So they broke down every charge. Um, they put the facts and the analysis up there for that as well, y'all. Um, and just to see if it applies to straight drop, and it does all of them. Um, standard of proof. This is what they put up. They not beyond a shadow of a doubt. Not a hundred percent certain. You did da 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 da. Um, th this is what they were saying, you know, to let the, you know, jury know to go by these steps when they're choosing if he's guilty or not. Okay. Um, so this is what they put up. So he's charged with three things. Okay, y'all. Um, and this was the first person that came up and talked about the charges and stuff like that. Um, Iris Williams. Great job, my girl. Great job. Um, uh, then, um... Straight Drops Lawyer jumps up there. Luke, okay? <laughs> Lord have mercy, y'all. Luke jumped on there, and it was hilarious, y'all. He, he looks so bad trying to defend this man. I hope he got paid good, because he, Lord have mercy, y'all. He made a fool of himself, y'all. And just looking at the judge face, and then, the, you know, the the police guy on the right side by the door. You're going to see him in a little while. Just looking at their face was priceless when this guy was talking. It was priceless. Um, the judge smiled when she was... I'm telling y'all, she gave a little smirk here and there, okay? Um, it was like disbelief. Like, I can't believe he's sitting up here lying like this and, and, and thinking that with all of this stuff piled up, he still have a chance. It, it was crazy. Then he starts scratching his head, y'all. You know when the, the lawyer scratches his head, you know you're doomed, okay? You know you are, you didn't messed up really, really bad. When the lawyer is scratching his head like, oh, Lord, what, what do I say next? What do I say next, okay? Um, they brought up the Bass Pro Shop hats a couple times again, okay, y'all? They brought that up. He also brought up the Bass Pro Shop hat saying something else that I told y'all before. That during the time that this stuff was, um, you know, I, I keep telling y'all they got bloggers on the payroll. They do have bloggers on the payroll, some of these celebrities. And they throw out a lot of misinformation so that it can throw people off. And he he basically told on them, basically told on their own stuff. He said that, you know, he lied about, this is another thing he did. He lied about the fact that that detective question somebody that was another suspect that had a Bass Pro Shop hat. And remember I told y'all they just threw that other picture in there with the guy with the red hoodie on. A while back I did a video. They threw that picture up just to throw it off to make it look like, oh, a whole bunch of people wear a Bass Pro Shop hat. You know what I'm saying? That this It ain't just Justin Johnson. Okay, y'all? That was all to steer the narrative. Just like Mo3. They, they did a lot of detouring to make you not know what really went on when all actual reality, everybody know what went on with Mo3. Okay? This is the same exact thing. And y'all wonder why people is blocking me in they, they IG trap boy. <laughs> y'all, please. Okay? Um, I wanted to tell y'all something else, too, that's really, really interesting. Okay? Um, ever since I've been doing these couple days of doing the, um, Dolph trial, I have been receiving a boatload of offers, y'all. So many. And I know it's, it's not normal. Okay. It's not normal. This is what, you know, when I had to talk to the feds before, they told me anything that's out the ordinary, you know, let them know, you know, take, even if you do not, you know, don't respond to nobody, but you know, they're check people checking out stuff. So I have been taking all these offers that's being sent to me. 
And, you know, reporting this in because it's, it's just a flush of them all of a sudden these last three days that I've been, run, you know, covering this Dolph case. And especially when I put that video up about the Bass Pro Shop stuff, I am getting so many offers of people wanting me to, um, you know, advertise stuff and this and that and that and this. And the people that are sending me these advertisements is not the from, you know, real companies okay y'all a lot of them so yeah y'all I'm, I'm getting a lot of people reaching out to me trying to get me to click on something so that you know what i'm saying um all of that stuff you know if you are sending me some mess because you are trying to you know get me to you know fall for y'all mess think again because you're putting your own self on the line for trying to cover up for cmg now this lets you know this is bigger than big joke okay y'all so the, the fact that the people they got people sending me all kind of you know um you know just some ear some weird little messages oh my company would like you to promote their this and that and, that and this on your page i i that stuff has slowed down but now since these last three four days that i've been covering this Dolph case and stuff like that just a flush of it so whoever that the, they following y'all ip address the people that's sending me these offers so if you're tied to cmg them in any kind of way or whatever 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 um you ain't doing nothing but sinking your own ship so i'm, I'm just telling y'all you know give it up because i i don't respond to none of that even if it's some real offers when i get ready to do some offers for some companies i reach out to the company and i'll do it that way but I'm not going to, you know, fall for the okie doke because people are sending me offers in, okay? So give it up, okay? And like I said, you putting yourself in this mess too by even bothering bloggers that's covering these cases like this. I'm just going to throw that out there. So keep on playing these games. You're going to be sitting in that seat next with this lawyer scratching his head. Keep on messing with me, okay, y'all? But anyway, let's keep going. Mr. Luke Evans is stuck on stupidity right now because he don't know what to do or what to say. Scratching his head and everything, okay? Look at him. He looked like he lost for words, okay, y'all? Um, look at the judge. She's looking like, please, are you serious? All the stuff that they just put out and you trying to defend this man? Are you serious, okay? Um, like I said, he brought up the, the Bass Pro Shop hat stuff again. It was saying that, you know, this is something. He said this yesterday. Why are you saying it again today? But I guess close the argument. Let's go. They want to try to push that because they're trying to co not connect this to higher ups. That's played a part in this. So this is why he's now trying to throw that in there too because possibility paid to say it, okay? Throw that in and try to steer the narrative away from the Bass Pro Shop stuff, okay? Because we don't want to get caught up. I'm my personal opinion. Okay, y'all. So this is all he was doing. He wasn't saying much. Um, he said that Straight Drop wanted to be a rapper, which, to be honest, this hurt him more than it helped him. He wanted to be a rapper. Yeah, this is why he, you know, did this in the first place, so he could be a part of CMG. This is why he did this. Um, he said it wasn't him in the videos, <laughs> and y'all almost hit the floor when he said that wasn't him in the video, that other people can got the same shoes and the same hoodie and the same pants, and you really, really, okay, with all the evidence of him going to pick up the daughter, all of this stuff and stuff and stuff, you want us to believe that wasn't him and got on the same outfit. It, this guy was pitiful, okay? He was pitiful. And when he, like I said, he lied on the investigator saying that the, the, the investigator had a potential suspect. They had the same Bass Pro Shop. That's what I was trying to tell y'all. They tried to throw somebody else in there too. You know, pictures with Bass Pro Shop, this and that, just so they could throw off the narrative off the person that's really doing the stuff. Okay, y'all? So he basically got up there and made a fool of himself. Okay? Then um, Paul Hagerman got up there. And he ate him up. And he really didn't have to do much. Because like he said, with all the proof that they had, this was over with really on the first day. When they showed those pictures and videos and all of that stuff, it was over with. Um, the other, the defense attorney, Stray Drop, he said that um, why didn't they bring in Govan? So they must got something ahead that they didn't bring in a main witness and this and that and that and this. And to be honest with y'all, they didn't need Govan. With all the evidence that they had presented, they did not need Govan at all. 
to be honest with y'all. And speaking of Govan, I, I truly believe that Govan was let out so he can get his affairs in order. So the fact that he is, I think his testimony is going to be explosive when it comes down to um, if things go the way it's supposed to go. His testimony is going to be explosive when it comes to CMG involvement, I, I do believe. And I think that he was let out so that he can, you know, move his family around and take care of some business. Because as y'all recall, um, Govan, they were saying that he was going in and out of town. Remember? And they were still letting him go in and out of town. And then they'll, like, bring him in and say, you, you know... You are um, supposed to be sitting still. You don't supposed to be moving around like that. And then he'd go out, come in and say, he ain't going to do it no more. Go back out of town again. They was, they had to go lenient on him because he's a major witness, my personal opinion. And the fact that he already lost a daughter. He already lost his daughter, y'all. Okay? That's somebody really, really close to him that he lost. Okay? And... The fact that he did lose his daughter, I think he was let out. Okay, if I'm going to cooperate with y'all, you all are going to have to let me move around. I have other family members that could be a target, potential target. So I have to get affairs in order while I'm out. Now, this could be a possibility to why he was let to move around the way he's moving around and all of that stuff. Okay, because look at all the people that then dropped in CMG's little circle. Now, some people say Govan played a part and other people passing away. But at the same time, if you look at it from a different point of view right now, he was let out to get his affairs in order, move his family members that he truly, truly care about around so that when he go in to testify, which should be very explosive if I'm, if I'm, on, if I'm right, okay, um, so that they won't be touched. And that makes sense to why he was moving around out of town. So he can move his family out of the out of Memphis. So when he comes up there and Shitaka hits the fan, it don't come back on the rest of his family. Now that's my personal opinion now to why things are going the way they're going. Um what else? What else? What else? So um the prosecutor, Paul, he got up there and he, he said he's not a missing witness. He's not somebody that they even really needed. Um, but it was up to the, you know, Govan if he wanted to testify or not, because he has the right to not testify to incriminate his own self because he himself is also charged in this mess that's going on as well. Okay, y'all. Um what else? What else? What else? He said he also said that they had Stray Drop's phone. So everything that, you know, because Stray Drop's lawyer try to act like um, Cornelia Smith was a liar that people couldn't believe him because he was smoking his kneecaps off. Okay, y'all. <clears throat> but, you know, excuse me. This prosecutor got up there and said everything that Cornelia said lined up with everything that they found. When he said that, you know, straight drop was this place, that place, this place, call this person, that place, that place. He said all of this stuff lined up with, when they did their investigation. It lined up with where he was, the cameras at the building, at the cousin house, the girlfriend's house, all of that stuff. Everything lined up. The phone records lined up with everything Cornelia said. So the, it, it was, I'm just saying, y'all, it was slam dunk. So you can go sit down somewhere because everything lines up. Stop lying. We know this your job to get out here and lie. So do you and let us do us, okay? Um, a straight job lawyer also said that there was no proof um, that straight drop was paid. That's a lie. So um, the prosecutor got up there and said, you know, if he didn't get paid, you know, why was he doing videos? Uh, well, not videos. Well, he, there were video footage of him um, from the phones and stuff like that with him and all his new clothes with the tags still on them. Okay, y'all? The tags still on the clothes and everything because you see the tags in the video. He didn't even take the tags off of the outfits that he had. Um, he had money in the videos. And he was showing off the money. I did. I showed it on the, the day three. If y'all go back and look at my trial day three um, um, video. Um, yeah. How you going to say he didn't get paid? That's the point of the whole thing. He got paid a lot of money. Cornelia Smith didn't get anything. And he did all the work. Most of the work. Because he's the first one that got jumped out. And just started spraying. Because he had the bigger weapon. 
okay? And he was zooted up off of the street pharmacy stuff. This is why Stray Dry kept calling him before he went to take Dolph out. Because Stray Dry was kind of, sim he was kind of, you know, trying to get somebody. To me, it seemed like he was a little bit scared to go along to do this by himself. He needed some right-hand man to get out there and do it with him. Because um, if Stray Dry was all of that, then why didn't he have the bigger weapon? They gave it to the guy that was zooted out of his mind. So they would use Cornelius Smith, basically, because um, his situation. He, him losing a son, him hooked on street pharmacy stuff. Then his daughter's birthday was that day. So he was the perfect person. So, and then they gave him, allegedly, some street pharmacy stuff before he went in there. So that's why he was all over the place, okay? Um, that's why, because he was zooted off that stuff. Um, what else they brought up? Hmm... But basically, everything that the prosecutor said was basically, everything Cornelius said lined up with everything, all the proof that they found. So basically, this is what it boiled down to. Um, the prosecutor also said that this guy, who is representing Stray Drop, said that um, the person that came to that window and hit up Dolph had on similar clothing. Similar clothing and there were similar cars. And the prosecutor got out there and said it wasn't nothing similar about it. Um, everything that we showed y'all was identical. The clothes was identical. The hat, the sweater, the pants, the drawers, the, the shoes, the cars were identical. Everything. How do everything be on point or down the line like that? And you say, oh, it was similar. You know what I'm saying? So he got on there and shut that down real, real quick. Um, but to be honest with y'all, straight job told on his own self, okay? When he did it, when he did the crime, basically, y'all, when he did that crime, I don't know why he had this paper and pills on his hand, to make it look like he was, um, I guess, taking notes. It's over with for the notes, okay? But this guy told on himself. One thing... That's for certain about this whole case right now is this guy told on himself. When he took Dolph out with that Bass Pro Shop hat and then you turned around was on the run and you released a video with Bass Pro Shop on there, you were letting everybody know this was your work. And that video was no, I'm just saying y'all, that video wasn't nothing like his other videos that he has done. I want y'all to pay attention to that too. The video that he released when he was on the run, the Hulk video, was nothing like his other videos. So, somebody did, you know, better work on that video than his regular just standing in front of a building, dan you know, singing and rapping and moving around or this and that and that and this. They put a little bit more into it. So they was letting you know that he had made a step up that ladder, okay? And somebody just snatched that ladder right from up under him because real people out here start putting all everything together and threw a monkey wrench in their whole program. And it threw a monkey wrench in his whole program to the fact that everybody that's involved is now is scurred, y'all. They're scurred. And one thing we know for sure is that there is definitely a Rico of ruin. And I'm wondering now, is the prosecution going to be the same way with this, with, with him is they going to be with the other CMG people that were involved? You know, like, your Gotti? Are you going to be hard on him just like you was on with him? Or is y'all going to baby him when he get on the stand? Because I know it's coming. It is coming. And it does not matter about Big Jook. And this is how ironic, y'all, how ironic that this is going to be. That you are not only going to go down for taking Dolph out. But you're going to go down for taking your own brother out as well, okay? Now, there are rumors going around that Memphis is keeping some secrets, okay? There are rumors going around right now that Memphis is keeping secrets and that they already have somebody in custody for the passing of Big Jug. This is what I'm hearing, okay? But I'm also hearing this from a blogger, y'all, that um, CMG sent them him some information before. And it was to send him off. So we don't know if CMG people is still sending him information. Because why is you the only one with this information and nobody else has it? 
okay? Because everybody from Memphis that cared about Dolph was sending out information to several bloggers, okay? So why you only one got the information that uh, Big Jug is, I'm just saying, y'all, hmm, his his hitter is, is locked up and one is on the run, is, is still they looking for. This is what this other blogger is saying. I ain't going to say no name, but they gave him information before and I called him out on that too, okay? So I, I'm going to just leave it at that. Um, for you to be the only one to have this information, it seems a little bit like just some old CMG stuff trying to send you some stuff to throw stuff off again. Just like they, you know, sent some information talking about, you know, the Raven was at a party with, big, you know, Black Youngster and all of this stuff. So, okay, just think about it, y'all. Think about it. So, I just, this is major. This is something major this would be all over the place if they had somebody in custody already that took out Big Jug. Unless they're keeping it quiet for the simple fact that this Rico ducks are brewing. And could they be working along with the police as well so that they can get up to Yo Gotti now? So I'm just saying, y'all, everybody know in their mama, you know, I'm going to just say this, allegedly, a lot of people have put two and two together and decided that yeah um he got something to do with this too okay so um he's still saying that Gotti is that not gonna be charged yet or nothing so no Gotti got a Gotti to me played a major part in this and Gotti is getting, getting so many threats right now it don't make sense not only is Gotti getting threats but people is filling up Angela Simmons emails as well telling her to get away from Gotti right now so it's a lot still going on they can lie all they want to but it is what it is um Gotti going to jail Gotti going to jail y'all like it or not Gotti is going to jail so anyway y'all the fact that they put that CMG up there and that pre them and pre was beefing that lets you know this Rico is humongous okay y'all anyway please like share and subscribe if you like the video uh, we are on verdict watch right now, and we wait on the guilty, guilty, guilty on all charge. Three charges, we want guilty on all of them. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like the video. And thanks for watching. Day four, Dolph Trial. Verdict watch. Peace.